to send it. Yahoo! Guys, welcome to my new property. Ta-da! Little haunted mansion. Look at that. This I got pellets or pellets or pellets or pellets or pellets or pellets or pellets it's getting so gnarly out here. This is all my land. I cannot catch a break with this weather right now. We got illegal money. That's so good. Holy moly. I literally just moved into this place. Oh. 18 acres of land. It's got room for the boat, the car, bushland. There's so much going on here, guys. This is it. It's my new property. I'm just renting, by the way. There's no way I got to call four mil to buy this property. So I'm not here forever, guys. I didn't buy it. I'm just renting. If we come down here a little bit, the mud flats are right there. Oh, I haven't even had a chance to explore the place. There's so much going on. Are you kidding me right now? We're on the mud flats. I can see my house. This is all part of my property. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I feel like there's definitely a creek in here. Oh yeah, it's thick as, but I can see a creek up in there. There's no way. There's a whole creek. <laughs> I'm literally going to be able to catch mud crabs from my own backyard. This is insane. Guys, I feel like I'm going to create an eat what you catch survival challenge on my own property. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that, but look at this. If we open that up, I got this whole garage here to fit all of my camping stuff. I thought I'd show you guys this place. We'll go for a dive tomorrow and then I'll come back, fill it up and cook it up here. Cause now I moved out, I gotta cook all my own dinners. So I need to get some fish. I feel like I'm camping every night I stay on this property. I, I don't even need the whole house. Just give me a swag and I'll be so happy out here. Yeah, here we go. Get some big stuff on there. Oh, I just got something on my foot. That was a fail. Let's try this again. <laughs> there we go. Look what I did to my car, guys. Nice love tap right in the tub. Canopy's coming too, so it's great timing. Love to see it. Bloody hell. Since we got such a big dive day tomorrow, I'm going with a T-bone steak on the fire tonight. Give me some energy. I actually like to oil my steak. Might be weird, but it's just how I do it. And season before it goes on. Heaps of salt and pepper, because I like pepper. Oh, let's put it on. Just a giant piece of meat on a fire. Happy days. I need tongs or something. That's cooking hot. Oh, <laughs> looks so good. Don't worry, I flipped the board. That's the raw side. Bring it out. There we have it. I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes. When that blood starts to rise through the meat, that's when you know that it's ready to eat. It's always the best like that. So let it sit for a couple minutes. Resist the temptation to eat it, and then we're on. All right, let's taste this beauty. Actually, a little bit more salt. Let's give it a little taste test here. That is so good. Woo! What I gotta do now is actually get a bit of a checklist together for tomorrow because if there's mackerel around, I'm not losing one because my gear's not sorted. So, come in the shed here. There's sort of all my dive gear on the ground, but might use this gun, 1200. Yeah, rubbers look fine on that. Gotta get all the gear sorted tonight. Hopefully we're blessed with good conditions and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning next to the Hilux here at about 3 a.m. I'll see you then. 3 a.m. Don't be late. Slight change of plans. It's about 2.30 a.m. I'm actually hooked up with my boat. I'm heading out solo and we're not diving, we're trolling. The boys couldn't make it, so I'm gonna pull through on my own. We're gonna go trolling instead, still trying to get ourselves a fish, so let's do it. Oh, crap. I just spilled my coffee, but thank God it's in the Yeti mug. That could have been terrible. 
Wake me up, baby. All right, let's do this. Early bird gets the worm. Let's get it. Sun's not even up yet. We are out here. Viz, we are so on right now. Conditions are perfect. Viz is great. That sun's coming up just behind the camera there. All right, run number one's going out. Now we wait for that reel to start screaming. I am the only one out here. So if there's any fish around, they should be coming into my boat. Oh, we just had a huge hit. Oh. What up, Leon? Am I on? I am on. I'm on! Yes! All right. Woohoo! Oh, man. thing is, it's pretty heavy. Oh, that swell's coming in the boat. Oh, no! No! Not pulled out. It's a huge setback, but I'm not giving up. I've just tied on another one. I'm gonna get it back out there. We're getting the fish, no matter what. Adio. Sun is out. Rods are in, water's clear. We got this. Third time lucky. I gotta get a fish in the boat before we get nailed here. Here it comes. Don't lose this fish, don't lose this fish. Come on. I'm getting spooled. I'm getting spooled in the rain. There's a rod right coming in. Come on. Come on. Come on, keep the tension. That's it. Wait, what? I'm on here. What the hell? I didn't know I was on. What the, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? This is big up. I didn't know I was on with that other rod. I just yeeted a tuna into the boat. That rain is hitting right now. It is all happening. Oh my god. Alright, new calm down. 
I need to calm down. <laughs> what the hell? God. He comes up the side of the boat. Yeah, we've got another tuna. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I'm just going to eat this one in too. <laughs> Double hookup tuna in a storm offshore. What the hell was that? Holy moly. We got a double hook up a tuna in the storm. Offshore, they're going nuts. This guy, I'm gonna let him go. He's off. Okay, they're not yellowfin tuna, they're not the greatest eating, but I want something to eat, so I'm gonna keep one of them. I'll keep this guy. <laughs> yeah, baby! I've bled this guy pretty well. I'm gonna get him in the uh, fish bag now. I can't believe that. I think I'm gonna keep trolling a little bit more just in case there's a chance of a mackerel. Cause um, this isn't the best eating, but I've bled it so it should be all right. I just needed fish. I don't, I'm not too, too stuffed right now. I think we just got another tuna. It's a mackerel. It's a baby mackerel. The cutest little mackerel I've ever seen! What the hell? He's got a baby mackerel! He's gone back in. I didn't get a measure on him. I think he's too small, but he didn't get hooked too badly, so he actually released. Oh my god! Crap! Holy crap! That was a wave in the boat. It's getting so gnarly out here. Okay, I'm gonna troll back that way and then hit the spot one more time to try and get a mackerel and then we are out of here because I just filled the boat up. Oh, this is getting sketchy as, guys. It's getting so sketchy. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I just got a double hook up. I just got a double hook up. <sighs> we got a good fish on. Please be a Spanish. Please, God, be a Spanish. Oh, it's a tuna. It's freaking huge. Holy crap. That thing is huge. That is humongous. Another one. I don't need all these tuna. Oh, watch yourself, buddy. Oh, this guy just got off. I'll tuck him back. You're right, man. Go on, skis. Have a go at that for a big old tuna. I wouldn't normally keep Mac tuna, but obviously this guy wasn't really going to release well. So since I haven't caught anything else, I'm happy to eat this guy. I'm going to try a recipe, see if I can make it as tasty as possible. I'm going to make it work. And then what I'll do is I'll use the frames and we'll put them in the crab pots, chuck them out the back backyard, see if we can get some crabs as well. But um, yeah, I'll take these two home. I'll stop trolling now because I don't want to catch any more of these Mac tuna. It's actually a bloody impressive fish. Oh, shame it's not a yellow fin, but we'll get him in there. I'll see you guys back at home. That was bloody insane. Woo! -wee. I'm buggered. I'm just heading home right now. And hey, look! The whale is going crazy just there. He's right in my way. I'll go around him. Whoa! Big breach. Whoa! There he is. I just saw a whale breach all the way over there, but there's one right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a fair few whales around here. That's really cool. Alrighty, we're back home now. What I'm gonna do is fillet these fish up right now behind the boat here, and then I'm gonna get the frames, and I'm gonna put them in these crab pots just here that will set 
out the back behind the house in the creek there, which hopefully we'll get some muddies in there overnight because the crabs are back, guys. It's on. It's mud crab season, baby. Damn, look at the size of this thing. Holy moly. It's a weird day today, too. It feels like it's about to start raining, but I'm going to fill this up quick. Oh, there we go. That's going to be good crab bait. This is an axe job. All right, there's gonna be a nice bit of bait. Just a big old tuna head. We're just gonna walk it down here and set it by the creek. It's dead low at the moment, but this tide will come up. So the house is just up there. Here's the creek right here. So I'm gonna drop this first pot. There's just enough water there for it to sit submerged. And I shouldn't have to worry about anyone stealing my pots because no one should be coming onto my property. All right, second pot. I'm gonna walk this one a little bit further to the bigger opening of the mouth of the creek. That should be a good chance of getting a crab. The reason I set that other one in the shallow bit just there is because it's directly behind the house. So it'd be awesome to literally catch a crab like 30 meters from my front door. So that's that one. I'll walk this one a bit further down the back where the creek opens up a bit and we'll chuck it out there. Oh. You're kidding me. I cannot catch a break with this weather right now. <laughs> it was sunny before, now it's raining. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna drop this pot right here. And then I better get back and shut all the windows up in the car because it's actually raining. <laughs> That's a good little hole. <sighs> Second crab pot set. I'm all done for the Savo. I'm gonna head back home, shower, and chill out by the fire if it's not raining tonight because I'm buggered. I've been up since about 2.30. Cannot wait to check these in the morning, actually. There's gotta be some crabs, surely. It still doesn't feel real that this is my friggin' backyard. What? All right, that rain's getting heavy. I need to go shut my car window. Oh, crap. Where are my keys? My keys are in the house, just on the floor there. I'm so dirty. Drenched. That's no good. Oh. Alrighty. That's it guys. I'm gonna chill out, wait for this rain to pass. I'm gonna cook up some of that tuna maybe tonight or tomorrow. I'll check the pots tomorrow. And um yeah, we'll go from there. What a massive day that was. That was insane. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a cook up. Check the pots. We'll do all that. There's checking the first pots the next day. It's been raining all night and rain is good for crabs, so I'm confident. Look at that. We got a little mud crab. We're gonna chuck him back because he's little, but we got him in the creek right behind the house, which means they're there. So I'm gonna put this pot back out to hopefully get a bigger one. But look at that. That's awesome. All right, let's check the second pot. All right, so the first pot just had that little crab. I'm betting this second pot's probably got the highest chance of having a big one because it's in that corner of the creek. So we're gonna check that now. Okay, we've come through to pot number two. It's tied up to the tree right there. Let's go. A little bit more. Oh, we got one. We got one. He's actually pretty big. All right, I need to get a measure on him. I can't find my actual crab measure, so I've got to use this thing, which is sketchy yeah, as my Daiwa, like fish measure. Oh. Oh. <sighs> yep. He's 15. We got a legal muddy. High five. That's the first crab I've caught in my backyard, so I'm going to have him for lunch. Success. That's so good. <laughs> Alrighty. We're walking back past that first pot. Look at this. That's a great sign of a big muddy. Crab pot's right there. And there's another bit of claw. I don't know, I just looked down and saw it. That's a perfect size crab. That's what we want. Look at that claw. So that means they're here. So um, yeah, I'll come back and check these tomorrow. Could be a big one in there. Pig's gone, sun setting, crab is in the pot. I put a bit of salt in there so the water's a bit salty. And um, yeah, we're just gonna cook that up for dinner right now. On top of the pig right here on the fire. And um, I think this might be one of Liana's first times having mud crab, so that'll be pretty interesting. Oh, perfect. Oh, I love it when things work out like that. Look at that. Perfect fit on the pig. That should cook up nice and quick. 
and then we can try this. It's gonna be a bit of an entree. We might even cook that tuna later on tonight, but we'll see. I said it was a perfect fit, but it might actually be too good because it's blocking the air from getting through this thing. Gotta keep blowing on it to try and get that flame going. All right, I think the water's boiling now. Yep, so let's get the crab in. Whew. He's in. The sensor light's going off. See, he's turned orange like that straight away. Lid on, and we wait about 13 minutes, and then he's good to go. He's nearly done. A couple more minutes, and then we can hook in. Crab's done. Pour that water out, and I might whack him in the fridge for maybe 10 minutes. I don't have a nice slurry, but I'll just put him in the fridge, cool him down so we can eat him. First muddy caught in the backyard, about to be eaten. I'll rip a claw off for you. But is this a first time crab, or you've had it before? I think it's the first time. A first time. This is a big deal. There we go. We call it nature's lollipop. That's yours. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Huge green fly. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's so good. It's been so long. Winter's over. Thank God. Back into the muddies. Didn't waste a bit. Crab's done. I'm going to go dump that out in the back creek now. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Sorry for the big wait, but I'm going away on a trip now. So when I get back, I'll have heaps more content. I'll see you guys in a bit. Good night.